Yeah, y'all. Y'all are the ones that do this shit. My German Shepherds love to dig. Uh, exhibit A through freaking X. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hole, 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 hole. It, they're taking out our driveway. Look, there's more holes there. They're, yeah, y'all. Y'all are the ones doing it. You, especially. Ah, uh, they've gotten to the point where they dug themselves such a big hole. It's been raining a little bit, so uh, he'll be sitting in here, and I can look out my window, and all I see is a neck popping up out of the fucking ground. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, but anyways, uh, what's going on? Blaze here. Today we are going from Mill Milldrill, Oklahoma. And going to Waynesboro, Georgia. It's over there by the Georgia Carolina line. Um, that happened a while back. I need to get there and cut that shit off. When a storm came through, it ripped half that tree apart. But anyways, this trip's uh, about a thousand miles long. And uh, hauling big tex trailers. So... Um, you can see your Christmas lights are out. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you all picked up on the fact that I record these intros in real time where the actual footage is done in the past. So, anyways, let's roll. I may have to back into that one i don't know i don't know what's going on here well i am in medhill medill oklahoma picking up uh trailers from big ticks Pointed up here, so I guess I'm just gonna back into back into number twelve. Interesting. this is what I'm supposed to be doing because I don't know if that hole is too deep for my trailer Make fun of me for not hitting this hole. This is a COD run, which means I'm going to pick up a fat check that's not mine. I think I'm straightened up now. Yeah. Yeah, those walls are too high, too tall for this trailer. Okay. 
I don't know if this works. Uh, <laughs> That's what she said. I'm there. <laughs> Hit a little harder than I wanted to, but. Well, let's go see what's going on. Well, got in here. It's not as tight as the squeeze I thought it would be. Only problem is, I noticed that truck over there, he's securing them as they're loading up. But unfortunately, my straps are down there. I guess those are mine. They told me to already be at, they told me to come to two and I'm already at two. So I guess they were getting ready for me. I have a one o'clock appointment and it's 1.14 right now. So. Yeah, as you can see, I had to pull up to get to my toolboxes because I fucking, like I said so earlier, I backed into a, I backed into the hole and didn't even think about getting my straps out. So they're gonna overhang a little bit on the front just to uh, allow themselves enough room. So. Does that work with you right there? Oh yeah. I even got more if you want it. I mean, I can hang, I can, I can go. I mean, right and also these guys tried to, they, they just like any other trailer company, they try to do their best to, uh, um, get as much possible as they can. As you can see, they stashed another one in here. So. Yeah, and they're pretty much gonna strap it for me too. I'll just tighten it down. I am not complaining about that. I'm getting six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and there's a there's a sixth one somewhere. I think he said I'm getting six. Obviously, this is the top one because well, for one is high enough, and for two, he's already put straps over it. They're working out this Tetris. You see, they already got this neck up in the back of this one now they're trying to see if they can line it up this way to matter to where the gooseneck to that is sitting up in that oh it's a tight squeeze
so they have ran into a wee bit of a problem they've actually started ripping doors off and putting them inside just to uh is that not strapped down do you think that's just gonna ride like that should i put a strap on that i don't know but they started ripping doors off trying to make everything fit perfect now they're coming across this problem here at first he was wanting to go up underneath that I've already measured that to the ground and I'm at like 12.6 or so, 12.7. So he's got, he can come up if he wants, but like, I don't know. They have their methods of doing these things. So I just let them do their thing. So they have come up with a solution. They gonna pick it up flip it around set it right back down the gooseneck will then be going inside of this one but it'll free up the top of the back one to where they can set that last trailer on there get it flipped around but because of that triangle piece and this tight edge they had to overhang just a little bit back here which I'm not too worried about it's way below uh, legal and I'll just throw a red flag on it I'm still kind of concerned about this stuff flying out I'll ask him about that Yep, got them all strapped down. Put the coordinates in my GPS. Looks like this is another small one. Well, I say small, it's not too bad. 800 something miles. And it isn't uh, like uh, totally, you know, scheduled to the max where, oh, you got 850 miles, that's one day. Uh, you'll deliver the next day. Now, I got, let's see, I got all day tomorrow. I got that delivered day after tomorrow, so. There's a couple more spots where I wish they had corners, but we should be all right. I'm glad these guys uh, did all the strapping because that can get annoying. Unfortunately, that guy right there, he told them, uh, uh, about it i'll do the strapping outside yeah and it's windy <laughs> all right well let me get the hell out of here uh good morning man i need to clean my windshield don't usually have this problem when you're driving up north because there's there's two things these little flying fuckers don't like and that's colder temperatures and windshields so it's the next day the next morning should I say I uh, I ended up driving to the yard in Rockwall and parking because you know guaranteed parking spot plus my vehicles there in case I need to go like up to the loves or up to anywhere to go get anything um, the only problem is I woke up and I had no services. Like, I didn't want to hop in my van and go up to the Loves, which is just around the corner. So I just, uh, and by the way, that's the Loves in Rockwall on 30. The worst Loves to ever go to. There's no parking, and what little parking is, is all full all the time. It's one of those old lows where there's barely room. Like, you have a truck at the fueling at the fueling island, and you can't park behind them to be in line behind them. You kind of have to sit sideways along the curb, and then once one opens up, you jump in. Anyways, it sucks. Um, so I woke up and I started driving went down to Terrell and now I'm on 20 
heading eastbound. I'm, uh, I stopped somewhere for coffee and some food. And uh, there was this guy I parked next to who has one of those it's like two plate flatbeds with an extendable uh, frame to it and some big huge long I-beams and he was having problems because they loaded it a little bit too close to the tractor so it was weighing too heavy on his drives and uh, I figured whatever I got 890 more miles to go and it don't deliver until tomorrow um, before they close at 5 so figured I could help him out um, it was pretty cool the way he did it he, he uh, uh, loosened up the stuff on his front half of the deck and he unlocked the pin to expand his track his trailer and he kept the rear end of his deck secure tight and he drove forward to slide the load backwards on the front portion of the deck. And then we uh, tightened and chained the front of the load, loosened the back, and then slid the trailer back, slid the expendable part of the trailer back to where it originally started in that pin, that 72 foot pin. Paying it forward, helping people out, helping truckers out, and the, the sun disappeared, and there's clouds in front of me. Hmm. Hey, I may get a free windshield wash. Anyways, like I said, I got somewhere under 900 more miles to go, and my worry is with these trailer loads, they're separated, the trailers themselves are separated by boards. This one seems pretty secure but but Shreveport as soon as I cross into Louisiana Shreveport man it's like ba-boom 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 and it's real like it's got a rep repetitious rhythm to it to where like I've had my my uh, uh, closet door pop open one time because it's just the, the, the steady working of the rhythmic, yeah, or whatever, man. It's just, it's, it's bad there. They need to fix the highways in Shreveport. But it's only a small portion. I, I don't know if you remember last load. I actually took another way around when I had those glass panes that I was really sketched out about. I took another way around to avoid Shreveport, which only cost me an hour extra. But. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my coffee, turn on some of them good tunes, maybe a podcast or so, and uh, put some miles in my rear view. All right. That day's done. I drove a good, uh, well, how far did I drive? 670 miles today. Um, about 240 miles from the uh, drop-off point. I'm like in between Birmingham and Georgia line. So I will be able to drop off, I say in the morning, but like the problem I have is I've got Atlanta traffic tomorrow. And I backed up as far as I could, didn't I? Hmm. So, I really had much to say. This stuff rode pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go in here and get me a shower. It's well needed right now. Gonna get some food to eat. I ran my clock till like there was like 20 something minutes left. And, uh, get this shit off my trailer and put something else on it tomorrow oh Atlanta 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 that's just awful 
what is this? What's going on here? Atlanta traffic I was looking at the uh, the map and the traffic isn't really all too bad going 20 straight through Atlanta but from my understanding $10,000 fine traveling 20 through Atlanta and not having a delivery in Atlanta so Got to take the watermelon uh, pa uh, watermelon run, I think is what it's called. The 285 around Atlanta. Yeah, I just learned that term. So. Uh, I should be there in a couple hours. Not sure. How it says trailer sales next door inside Sitco Station. So I am actually pulling in behind. There's trailers right here. I'm actually pulling in behind the convenience store because it looks like that's a big huge wide open spot that would be most practical to unload me I guess I don't know I guess I'm gonna have to go into the gas station to drop off my load Wonder if they'll give me free convenience store shit. <laughs> Let me go in and find out. So I met this guy at that store who actually owns, you know, they own it all. Um, we're going up, up the road about a mile to offload. Um, hopefully it doesn't take much time because I have been given a uh, like a preload. As soon as I'm done dropping this off, I need to hightail it up to uh, somewhere else to pick up another load. And that is about an hour and a half away. It's 1.42 now and they close at four. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that. I sure hope so, because it's a damn good paying load. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, I think this is the smallest road I've ever been on. Uh, actually, I take that back. I'm on someone's property, so technically not a road. But I think I messed up. I think I was supposed to pull into that first entrance. Do some fishing. I ain't much of a fishing person, but am I gonna make this turn? Front wheel might dip, but back wheels need to stay on. There we go.
And there's a little bit of shade right now. Well, the shade's about to disappear, but man, it is crazy hot out here. I'd watch those corner angle pieces over there in, in between up, up here at the at the front of the gooseneck those triangle pieces yeah, yeah he's clear as long as he goes straight yeah yeah Got another one done ready to ready to hit the dust trail get on back on that dust trail uh oh yeah i gotta show you something there's something on my tire the customer here found that i don't know where it came from but if you look that's one hell of a chunk out of there Woo. DOT ain't gonna like that. And it's pretty fairly new tires too, which is unfortunate. But anyways, I'll see y'all guys on the next run.